Life philosophies unleashed. Do you feel like your relationships lack depth and meaning? Are you looking for ways to build deeper, more fulfilling connections with those around you? Look no further than the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche Wiedzi was a 19th century philosopher whose ideas on individuality, fate, power, and evolution can help us create more meaningful relationships. In this video, we'll explore five ways Nietzsche's philosophy can help you have a healthier, happier relationship. 1. Embrace individuality. Do you ever feel like you're in a relationship where you have to change who you are to fit someone else's idea of an ideal partner? Friedrich Nietzsche believed that every individual is unique and valuable, and that we should embrace our individuality rather than conforming to societal norms. In relationships, this means valuing your partner's individuality and allowing them to be themselves. Embracing your partner's quirks passions, and differences can lead to a deeper connection and a more fulfilling relationship. When you allow your partner to be themselves, you create a space where they feel safe and valued. This can lead to increased intimacy and trust. On the other hand, trying to change your partner to fit your idea of an ideal partner can lead to resentment and dissatisfaction. It's important to remember that no one is perfect and that our imperfections are what make us unique and valuable. Embrace your partner's imperfections and encourage them to embrace yours as well. By valuing individuality in relationships, we can create a space where both partners feel free to be themselves. This can lead to a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling relationship that is built on mutual respect and understanding. So, the next time you're in a relationship, remember to embrace your partner's individuality and allow them to be themselves. You might be surprised at how much deeper your connection can become. 2. Amor Fati Love of Fate Nietzsche's concept of Amor Fati, or the love of fate, encourages us to accept the inevitable ups and downs of life and embrace them as part of our journey. This philosophy can be especially helpful in relationships, where we often face challenges and difficulties over time. When we love our partner, flaws and all, we are able to accept the challenges that come with building a life together. By embracing the difficulties and struggles that arise, we can grow as individuals and as a couple. It's important to remember that no relationship is perfect and that every challenge can be an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. When we love our fate, we are able to find meaning in every moment, even the difficult ones. We are able to appreciate the joy and beauty in life, even in the midst of pain and hardship. This can help us to stay positive and hopeful, even when things get tough. In relationships, it's important to remember that our partner is not perfect, and neither are we. By loving our partner despite their flaws, we are able to create a space of acceptance and understanding. This can lead to increased intimacy and trust, as well as a deeper connection between partners. By embracing the concept of amor fati, we can learn to love and accept ourselves and our partners, flaws and all. We can find meaning in every moment, even the difficult ones, and grow as individuals and as a couple. So the next time you face a challenge in your relationship, remember to love your fate and embrace the journey. You never know what kind of growth and self-discovery it might bring. 3. Will to Power in Relationships Nietzsche's philosophy of the will to power can help us understand the inherent power dynamics in any relationship. Rather than shying away from power struggles, we can embrace them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. When we acknowledge the power dynamics in our relationships, we can work together to find a balance of power that is healthy and fulfilling for both partners. 
But what exactly is the will to power? Nietzsche Beastie believed that the will to power is a fundamental drive in human nature, a desire for control, dominance, and influence. In relationships, this drive can manifest in many ways. From wanting to have the final say in decisions, to seeking control over one's partner. However, the will to power doesn't have to be a negative force in relationships. When we embrace the power dynamics in our relationships, we can use them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By working together to find a balance of power that is healthy and fulfilling for both partners, we can create a relationship that is built on mutual respect and understanding. So how do we embrace the will to power in our relationships? Start by acknowledging the power dynamics at play. It's important to recognize when one partner has more power in a particular situation and to work together to find a way to balance that power. This might mean compromising on decisions or finding ways to share responsibilities. It's also important to communicate openly and honestly about power dynamics in the relationship. If one partner feels like they are consistently giving up power, it's important to address that and work together to find a solution. By communicating openly and honestly, we can build trust and intimacy in the relationship. Finally, remember that the will to power is not a one-way street. Both partners have the desire for control and influence, and it's important to recognize and honor that in each other. By embracing the power dynamics inherent in any relationship, we can create a space of mutual respect and understanding. Nietzsche's philosophy of the will to power can help us understand the power dynamics in our relationships and use them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By acknowledging the power dynamics at play, communicating openly and honestly, and honoring each other's desires for control and influence, we can create a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling relationship. So embrace the will to power and see how it can transform your relationships for the better. 4. Eternal Recurrence Nietzsche Sishi's philosophy of eternal recurrence challenges us to find joy in the repetition of life's joys and sorrows. In relationships, this means embracing the mundane and the routine and finding beauty in the small moments. When we take our partner for granted, we risk missing out on the everyday moments that make up our lives together. So how can we find joy in the repetition of life's joys and sorrows? Start by taking a moment to appreciate the present moment. Whether it's a quiet night in with your partner or a simple meal together, take a moment to appreciate the small things that make life worth living. By finding beauty in the mundane, we can cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the simple things in life. Another way to find joy in the repetition of life is to create rituals and traditions with your partner. Whether it's a weekly date night or a yearly vacation, creating rituals and traditions can help us find meaning and joy in the repetition of life's joys and sorrows. By creating these shared experiences with our partner, we can deepen our connection and create memories that will last a lifetime. Finally, remember that the repetition of life's joys and sorrows is a reminder of our mortality. When we embrace the repetition of life, we can find a sense of peace and acceptance that can help us live more fully in the present moment. By accepting the inevitable ups and downs of life, we can find joy and meaning in every moment, even the difficult ones. Nietzsche's philosophy of eternal recurrence challenges us to find joy in the repetition of life's joys and sorrows. By embracing the mundane and the routine, creating rituals and traditions with our partner, and accepting the ups and downs of life, we can cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the simple things in life. So take a moment to appreciate the present moment, create shared experiences with your partner, 
and find joy in the repetition of life's joys and sorrows. You might be surprised at how much deeper your connection can become. 5. Creative Evolution of Values Nietzsche believed that our values should evolve with us as we grow and change. This means being open to change and growth, both as individuals and as a couple. In relationships, it's easy to fall into patterns and routines. But it's important to remember that change and growth are essential for a healthy, fulfilling relationship. Embracing new experiences and new perspectives can help us grow as individuals and deepen our connection with our partner. By challenging our preconceptions and assumptions, we can open ourselves up to new possibilities and create a more meaningful relationship. One way to embrace the creative evolution of values in our relationships is to try new things together. Whether it's taking a cooking class, trying a new hobby, or traveling to a new place, stepping outside of our comfort zone can help us grow and evolve as individuals and as a couple. These shared experiences can strengthen our connection and create new memories that will last a lifetime. Another way to embrace the creative evolution of values is to be open to change and growth in our relationship. This means being willing to have difficult conversations, acknowledging our mistakes, and working together to find solutions. By being open and honest with each other, we can create a space of mutual respect and understanding that can lead to a deeper, more fulfilling relationship. It's important to remember that change and growth are a natural part of life and that our values and priorities may shift over time. By embracing the creative evolution of values, we can create a relationship that is built on mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to growth and change. By embracing Nietzsche Jesse's philosophy of individuality, fate, power, repetition, and growth, we can create healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Embrace your partner's individuality, love your fate, embrace power struggles, find joy in the mundane, and be open to change and growth. With these five tips, you can build a relationship that is healthy, happy, and full of meaning.